The U.S. Air Force stated that it performed a successful test of the air launch rapid response weapon ARRU, hypersonic missile over the weekend. A U.S. Air Force B-52H Stratofortress successfully dropped an AGM-183 air launched rapid response weapon or ARRW off the Southern California coast May 14, the U.S. Air Force announced in a press release. Following separation from the airplane, the ARRW's booster ignited and fired for the planned duration, achieving hypersonic speeds five times greater than the speed of sound. It added, Lt. Col. Michael Junquist, 419th FLTS commander, said the test team made sure it conducted the test flawlessly. Our highly skilled crew made history on this first air launch hypersonic weapon. We're doing everything we can to get this game-changing weapon to the warfighter as soon as feasible, he stated. According to the press statement, ARRW is meant to enable the U.S. to hold fixed, high-value, time-sensitive targets at risk in contested circumstances from standoff distances. It will also expand precision strike capabilities by enabling fast response strikes against heavily defended terrain targets. This comes after the AUK-US alliance, which comprises the United States, the United Kingdom and Australia, has revealed plans to cooperate together to create high-speed weapons. The U.S., China and Russia are among the top countries that are leading in hypersonic weapons, whose speed and maneuverability make them challenging to detect and intercept. The U.S. successfully tested a Raytheon air-breathing hypersonic weapon capable of flying faster than five times the speed of sound for the second time. A statement from the contractor stated the flight test met all objectives, including proving tactical range capabilities. America's recent victories follow a series of setbacks, but it is still lagging behind other big countries. Earlier this year, Russia became the first country to utilize hypersonic missiles on the battlefield after striking targets in Ukraine. The two recent triumphs in the United States plan to build hypersonic weapons are expected to push other countries to pick up their research into more sophisticated weapons. A statement from the contractor stated the flight test met all objectives, including proving tactical range capabilities. That breakthrough occurred days after the U.S. Air Force successfully tested Lockheed Martin's AGM-183, an air-launched Tappet response missile booster off the California coast on July 12. The missile was launched from a bomber and met its primary and secondary goals, the Air Force claimed. Hypersonic weapons travel in the upper atmosphere at speeds of roughly 6,200 kilometers per hour, 3,800 miles per hour, 3,800 miles per hour. They can also modify their direction after launch to escape defense systems. Such missiles are meant to destroy time-sensitive targets and, once fielded, can increase a country's precision strike capacities. George Nakuzi, an aerospace engineering specialist from the American think tank RAND Corporation, said, The U.S. has had some setbacks in the past, but it appears that they've had some major successes recently and assuming continued successful development. The U.S. should be able to deploy these systems in the near term. These successful tests should be no surprise to competitors while offering additional reassurance to allies and partners. The U.S. has faced snags in its hypersonic missile development. In June, a flight test of a hypersonic missile system in Hawaii ended in failure due to a fault that took place after ignition, according to the U.S. Defense Department. The U.S. expects to acquire an early operational capability with the AGM-183 and to begin deployment of the ground-launched long-range hypersonic weapon, commonly known as Dark Eagle, in 2023. The U.S. Air Force and Navy are planning to deploy hypersonic cruise missiles from roughly 2027 and 2028. While the two recent victories underline the progress the U.S. is making in the development of hypersonic weapons, the country is still trailing behind Russia and China. In March, Russia became the first nation to utilize hypersonic weapons in battle utilizing Kinzhal air-launched ballistic missiles to hit targets in Ukraine. The Kinzhal is a nuclear-capable hypersonic missile that has a stated range of more than 2,000 kilometers, 1,250 miles, and can travel at 12 times the speed of sound. China has operationally deployed the DF-17 hypersonic glide vehicle and is scheduled to deploy a bomber-launched anti-ship missile, dubbed CHS X-13. The government also tested an orbital hypersonic glide vehicle last year. 
Song Jiangping, a former Chinese military instructor, said, China and Russia will undoubtedly carry out plans to upgrade their hypersonic missiles range, accuracy, reliability, safety, and operational flexibility. But other analysts doubt that the U.S. tests will alter other countries' intentions. China has only thus far publicly announced the deployment of the DF-17, but may also already deploy further hypersonic weapons. Whilst the U.S. tests will grab Beijing's attention, they will not be surprised and are probably unlikely to result in a speeding up of China's own programs," said James Bosbotinas, a specialist in defense and international affairs. As the U.S. reveals its progress in the development of hypersonic weapons, the prospect that China may expose more of its capabilities cannot be dismissed.